All right, I'm gonna show you guys now how to do multi-turn conversations with agents and also maintaining the last agent that was invoked. So currently with what we've learned up to this point, we can only really invoke an agent once and get a single response back. But in our experience using ChatGPT and other stuff, of course, we're having conversations with these agents or rather the large language models behind them. So I'll be showing you guys how you can actually set it up so you can actually have a conversation with an agent rather than just a one-off you know, uh, message and response. That's not very useful, right? So the cool thing about result is that it gives you more information than just the final output. The final output's just, you know, as it says, the output of the last agent. So just the simple agent. But we can also do functions like to input list, which will give us the full conversation history of the agent. So it says creates a new input list, merging the original input with all the new items generated. So all that means is that you get a full list of all the messages inside of the chat. So what I'll do is just print it out each message, so for message in result .to input list, we'll just print out each message to see what this gives us. Let's try it again. There we go. So we can see that we get the original message, hey, and then it's the role of user. So that's me invoking it. And then now we get the actual response from the large language model, which has a little bit of more information, but, but the thing that stays the same is the role and the content. So if we scroll down, the role is assistant, because that's just the large language model. And then we have content. It's not exactly a string. It has a a list within it with an object inside of it, but here's the text. Hi there, how can I assist you today? So a lot of this is abstracted for you when you just print out the final output. Um, but if you want the actual full conversation history, this is one way to work with it. So now that we understand what the conversation history kind of looks like when we output it, we can actually provide an initial conversation history to the model when we first invoke it, as if there's already a chat that happened. So let me just show you what I mean. So we're gonna do convo, which is a list, and then each item of the list is gonna be of the type T response input item, which we're just gonna import above T response input item. And then each element of this list will be a single message in the conversation by one of the users. So we could do, for example, our initial message saying, hey, and this is gonna be by the user. And then we can have the next message by the assistant that says, hey, how are you? How can I help you today? With the role of assistant. So basically what I'm trying to show you here is that we can manually create this conversation in the same format that it was outputted as. So we could take this conversation and just simply replace our string here that we were doing before with the actual conversation. So this run function accepts both a string as our input or a list of the T response input item. So that's why we're doing this. And you can add as many messages as you want. So now let's run it and see what we get. There we go, so it worked. So we could see that, hey, role user, Hey, how are you? How can I help you today? Role assistant, which is what we told it to have originally. And then finally, we get the actual response from the large language model. Hey, how's it going? What can I do for you today? And this is also from the assistant. So we have two assistant messages in a row, but it doesn't really care. It's just kind of predicting what it would say next. So if you want to, you could add, you can add as many messages to this as you want. So we could say content, um, I'm having a bad day. Role. User. So you can say something like this, I'm having a bad day, and we can invoke it and get a response. So this is going to be very useful when you want to provide a conversation history to an agent when you invoke it. But we want to make it so that you can have a back and forth conversation, right? So we're going to copy this and move it down. So we'll start by getting rid of all of this and just leave it empty. We'll get rid of this as well. What we're going to do is move this into a while loop. So while true, an infinite while loop, so while true, and we're going to invoke it with the conversation history. And then we'll print this message here. This will make more sense when I finish typing it all out. But so now we're gonna have user input is equal to input view. So we're getting input from our console from the user. And we're gonna use that to add onto our conversation. So combo dot append. And we're going to append the new message. So content. And we're gonna say user input. So we're essentially crafting the message manually and adding it to our conversation history so that we can invoke our agent using that conversation history. So now that we have the modified combo, we can then pass it in like we're already doing here. We get the result and then we can print the response from the agent, same way we always do. So we get the final output. But then importantly, before we loop again, before we do the next iteration of the loop, we want to replace the entire conversation with the new updated information of the full conversation history by doing convo is equal to result dot to input list. Because as we learned above, when I took the time to show you this, to input list gives you the actual conversation, which is the same as this. So we could simply replace our combo with the full conversation history that this returns for us. So let me run this and I'll explain it again in a second. So you are now chatting with Agent Bob, type exit to in the conversation. So we can see that we can input something at the top here. So we could say, hey, and then it says, hi there, how can I assist you today? Uh, what was my first message? 
says your first message was hey. So it does have a history of conversation that it's using. So we're having a back and forth conversation now. It's not resetting every single time. Pretty cool, right? And then we can exit if we want to. But of course we have not implemented that. So the way that you can implement the exit feature is after you get the user input, you simply check to see if the user input is equal to exit. And then if it is, you break out of the loop. Okay, so besides having a multi-turn conversation, since we're using an agent's framework, we also need a way to maintain what agent we last sent a message to. Because if we have a setup like this, where we have our triage agent and this hands off to our math tutor agent or our history agent, if we were to invoke this triage agent and send a message like, hey, can you help me understand this history stuff? it would obviously hand me off to the history tutor agent. The history tutor agent would then give me a response and then it would end there. So if we do what we did above to have it so I can have a back and forth conversation, the next time I send a message, it won't go back to the history tutor agent, it'll go back to the original agent, which doesn't make a lot of sense. So we just simply wanna modify this so they can also keep track of the last agent that I was handed off to. So what I'll do is I'll just copy it and I'll move it down here. So up here, when we're keeping track of the combo, we can also keep track of last agent is equal to. And since the loop has not started yet, we'll simply start it with our triage agents. That's who we want to start with, right? And then down here in our, when we actually run the agent, we can then do last agent. So it always uses the last agent. So now we just simply need a way to actually update the last agent to whatever the last agent is. And what's great is that just like everything, the agents SDK makes it really easy. We can do last agent is equal to result dot last agent. So it already keeps track of it for us. So now what I'll do is instead of just printing agent and then the output, we'll have it print actually what agent you're talking to. So that's a more clear way of knowing what's happening. So I'll replace this with this here. So we can do last agent dot name and then the final output. We also need to make sure we move it below the update because of course, if we have it before we update it, it won't show the proper agent. So I'll say, hey, so it says triage agent because I'm still in the triage agent. It has not handed me off because I have not indicated I want to do any math or history. So if I say something like help me learn how to divide, it should route me to that. So handing off to the math tutor agent. Boom, it says math tutor, of course. So let's go through the basics of division. And then it tells me how to divide. So I can keep sending messages like um, thanks. I'll get a new response. So I said, thanks, math tutor, you're welcome, blah, blah, blah. So it's working perfectly. It's able to keep track of the agent, the last agent I talked to. That way I can have a back and forth conversation with a multi-agent system, not just a single agent at a time. So hopefully you guys find this interesting as well. I'll also leave the simple script in the source code so you can check it out yourself. This is a simple Streamlit application, similar to what we did before. The difference is that this one allows you to have a conversation with an agent, so a back and forth conversation. So if you wanna run it, we're gonna to go to our terminal. We're gonna activate our Python environment. Then we're going to navigate to apps. And then to run it, we're going to do streamlit, run, simple chat. That's going to open up a browser for us so we can check it out. It's in light theme, don't yell at me. So we can chat with ChatGPT 4.0. We could say, do you love me? How about that? There we go. So I'm here to help you with anything you need. What can I assist you with today? What did you say was my first message? So as you can see, it's able to keep track of the conversation history. So it's just a cool little app that you can make. It's, it's very simple, it's not very complex, but it's a cool thing to take a look at. But that's it, that's how you can do a conversation with an agent and also keep track of the last agent. Thanks for watching everybody, hopefully it was helpful.